Are you ready to laugh? This week, actor comedian Jeremy Piven takes the stage at Brea Improv, and Jeremy is joining us live in studio to talk about it. It's good to have you here. It's good to be here. So, what is it like making this transition? Because I know you had the background at Second City in Chicago, right? Yeah. That's kind of like your your home base. What's it yeah. like to now be writing your own lines instead of selling someone else's lines? <laughs> um, it's it's absolute freedom that I love, because you know, as an actor, for instance, when I was playing Ari Gold. I'm always pitching ideas and jokes, and and the the reality is, people thought that I was improvising that role, yeah. and that's a, a very big compliment because it's all written. And now, be careful what you wish for because I have complete freedom, and it's terrifying, kind of like what you guys do every morning on live television. <laughs> uh -huh. Yes. Lots of room for error. <laughs> well, um, yeah. The great thing about stand-up is like you just know in real time how it's going. And you know it's both thrilling and terrifying, and I love it. Kind of a vulnerable place to be, I would imagine. Yes, but that's that's how you grow. This has turned into the worst TED talk ever. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> uh, we were just talking a second ago about tap dancing, and yes. you're a tap dancer, and you've been working for a decade on your craft. I didn't know that. Yeah, I am. Um, it's kind of the the role of a lifetime. I. Uh, my sister directed it and wrote it, and it's called the performance, and it's based on an Arthur Miller piece. And I've been I've been tap dancing, yeah. Uh, as we were talking about, you know, like you're in a tap class with children, and it's humiliating. Yeah. You're an adult, and you're viciously mediocre, and you're trying to tap. And we're disappointed you didn't bring your tap dancing shoes. And ne that was also not a trivia uh, question. No, it, but it will so. be next time. And and next time I will bring my tap shoes. Uh, that would be really fun. I would love that. So you know, the other thing I thought was really interesting <laughs> is. You go over all your lines with your mom, is that yes. true? Even all the really raunchy ones when you were playing Ari Gold? Yeah, everything I've ever said is Ari Gold, I've said to my mom's face. <laughs> what was that like? Which is insane. No, it's true. It's a true story. Because, you know, people are like, I, I say I do lines with my mom, and they're like, you do lines with your mom? That's, <laughs> don't do lines. No, no, I don't do lines. I run lines with her. You don't, don't, don't do lines with your mom. Or Kids. don't talk about Kids. it, at least. Yes, don't talk about it on morning television. <laughs> I, um, <laughs> she's been my acting teacher since I was a child in, in Chicago, hence Second City and all that stuff. And so to this day, I'm very lucky. She's 10 minutes from here. And, you know, she's a total pro. No matter how raunchy the lines are, she stays in her lane. And we have a great time, and she gives it to me straight. I think I'd like to see that. Like um, you rehearsing the raunchy lines. Well, mom. you know, it's, it's funny you say that. I, 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 have, I have recorded it. And uh, I'm going to be documenting a stand-up special, and I think I'm going to put that, that's a great call, I'm going to put it into the special because it does happen. And I'll say the most it, outrageous things, and she just doesn't flinch. Well, she's a and true pro, then. She's a, to a total pro. So they say comedy is kind of a buffer of hopelessness and despair. Do you, and we've all been through challenges, right? You've been yes. through challenges. Do you find that you kind of draw on that to make people laugh and make it funny? I, I think one of one of the great things about stand-up is you you're, you're up there and you just you just kind of own whatever's going on with you and your truth and you navigate it and at any moment someone can yell something out and that can change the dynamic of everything. So it's kind of amazing and challenging and I love it. That's great. So tell yeah. us tell us more about this show here in Southern California that we can see or the upcoming shows. Uh, the Brea Improv is. You know, living here in Hollywood, we go to the Hollywood Improv on Melrose, and it's probably, you know, the greatest comedy club in the world, and they have them all over. And Brea has about 600 people, but yet it feels very intimate, and I'm going to be doing a few shows there, and it's going to be really, really fun. We're going to have a blast. Well, we're looking forward to it. Thanks yeah. for joining us today. Thank you for having you me. You woke up super early. Even Just, though you didn't bring your tap shoes. Oh, I'm not here. This is AI. <laughs> okay. I'm at home sleeping. <laughs> Still to come for all of us, right? AI. Yeah. We're absolutely. all going to be replaced. Uh, Jeremy's going to stick around and reveal the answer to Stump the Studio, our question. And you can find out more information about Jeremy and how to get tickets to his shows by going to kcalnews.com and clicking Scene on TV.